your girl Steven, and I'm back with another video. Oh, hey, 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 hey. All right, so guys, today, first, let me do my thumbnail. Let me do my thumbnail. And guys, I, I already know this is about to look flashy. I really don't care, though, because I need a good thumbnail. And the purpose of this video is literally... Okay, so, um, all right, yeah. Now, I am an OnlyFans creator, okay? If you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. If you're here to judge me for it, suck my dick from the back. Here you go. You want it? I'll give it to you. Here you go. No, but I'm dead ass. Like, I am here, okay, to talk to the people who want to do OnlyFans. I am here to tell you to fuck what everybody else is saying because no one has to pay your bills but you. Whether you're broke or rich, you still got to deal with it, okay? And if you care about what other people say, you are never going to truly be you. You're going to be living for others and not for you. Now, when I first started OnlyFans, I was a little worried because of, you know, certain people in my family and stuff like that. But again... I am the one that's broke time after time. I was the one that was always in financial pinches time after time, no matter how many jobs I've had. Guys, I've worked over 20, what the fuck was that? 20 regular jobs, over 20, 20. No matter how much I was getting paid, I was still fucking broke to the point that I could not have a quality of life. I was still broke to the point that it did not matter what the fuck I did, what, how much hours I worked. Like, if I wanted to buy, I remember my first car. When I got my first car, I literally had to work, like, over 60, 70 hours for, like, a few fucking weeks just to save up this much. And I still got help from my dad. Like, you get what I'm saying? If you're worried about what other people think about you, your family, whatever, honestly, fuck them. If they're going to sit there and judge you, fuck them. It does not matter. You could decide to be a porn star tomorrow. You could decide to be a stripper tomorrow. You could decide to go at... Okay, well, don't sell drugs. But you get what I'm saying. Like, you could do... Someone's always going to have an issue with what the fuck you do. Someone's always going to have a picture of what they pictured you doing. And that's not coming from you or your head. That's coming from them and what they imagined for you, which is not for you. Okay, you need to be happy regardless of what anyone now. I've always been hyper sexually active always I not fucking other people like fucking people. No masturbating, you know, like not, not feeling satisfied at the end, you know, not enough. I need fucking more going to go masturbate in the fucking bathroom after I had sex with my boyfriend like type shit that always used to happen to me all the time. Yo, so it was to a point where I'm just like, Justina, like you're just hyper sexually active like. That's okay, by the way, for the people who sit there and make it seem like it's a problem, they're boring, basic, and they cannot even imagine wanting to have sex more than once a week. Some people are really like that, and I'm just like, yo, how y'all living? Like, I can't do that. But anyway, you know what I'm saying? So I've always been hypersexually active. I've always been comfortable with my fucking body. That's always been a thing. Always, like that's I've always loved my body. I've always been comfortable talking about sex. I've always been comfortable, like just wearing whatever clothes I want to. That I've, that's always just been me. I can say, I say whatever the fuck I want, however the fuck I feel, and no one can tell me shit about it. And if they do, I don't care. I never thought what anybody thought of me. Since I was in school, I didn't give a fuck what people thought of me. You don't like me sound like a personal fucking issue because I never did anything to you. And nine out of ten, it was personal. It was because I was pretty or because their boyfriend would flirt with me. But I never even fucking noticed. Anyway, you know what I'm saying? Like, there was always a problem somewhere. People are always going to have a problem with what you do. So you might as well be a millionaire while you're doing it. Now, if you're worried about revenge porn, revenge porn is basically when someone that you know or knew you, ex, a friend that was a friend, whatever, that's when they take something from your OnlyFans page and they just post it everywhere, okay? Now, this I don't understand because... In my opinion, that's not revenge porn because I posted it and I sold it in the first place. You get what I'm saying? Like, I posted it and I sold it in the first place. Remember that? Keep that mindset. You posted it, you sold it in the first place. What are they... 
you know what I'm saying? If you think about it, that's not revenge porn. You know, like it's not like something that you and your boyfriend did and then y'all break up, then he exposes you. That's revenge porn. OnlyFans is not revenge porn. You're posting these things yourself. You're sending this to thousands of people yourself. What's revenge about it? Nothing. Okay? Get out that mindset. You know what I'm saying? Don't be worried about that. Who gives a fuck? Okay? Who cares? You know what I'm saying? And revenge porn or not, you're still going to be rich. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Whether if people talk shit, bad shit about you or not, you're still going to be rich. Whether if people don't talk to you anymore because they don't agree with what you do, you're still going to be rich. You're still going to be rich, happy, and fulfilled within yourself. As long as you are happy and fulfilled within yourself, nothing else fucking matters. Do you hear that? Yo, when you are happy and fulfilled within yourself, nothing else matters. So many people are just insecure, not happy with themselves, upset because they got to work, you know, the nine to five, which is not wrong with the fucking nine to five, but it's really hard to make things happen for yourself on it. And I know from personal experience and same thing, school, college, that was not for me. I was good in school. Mine is geometry. Fuck geometry. I was good in school. I was on honor roll, like my senior year. I eventually got to the point, okay, because it wasn't like that throughout all my high school years. But 11th grade, 12th grade, honor roll. Straight A's, good fucking grades. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could have went to school and I could have went to college if I wanted to. I really could have. I just didn't because that's not what I wanted. I never saw myself working a regular nine to five job. I would cry. I would have anxiety attacks before work, whether I liked my job or not. Like, it was just, I was miserable all the fucking time, every fucking day. And I'm just like, yo, I know I'm gonna work for myself eventually. Like, I know this is, it. you know, and every single job that I worked at, I owned and I was so fucking good at. Every single one. And I always ended up just leaving because it just wasn't for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just like, nine, nine out of ten when I was at work, I'm zoning out thinking about sex, to be honest. You know, that dick that I was going to get when I got home. Like, I swear to what I was going to eat later. You know? Like, I was never present. You know? Like, I was doing my jobs like that. But, like, I don't know. It just was not for me. Like, I always felt miserable. Never happy. Never content. And, guys, I'm working for myself. And I'm still not content. I still feel like it's not enough. And that is amazing because I'm going to keep pushing until I hit the amount of bands that I want to hit. That is the amazing thing about that. But fuck, it's so much work, but it's okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, guys, do whatever is the fuck makes you happy, okay? People are going to have something to say no matter what you do. If you're nice, people are going to have something to say. If you're a bitch, people are going to have something to say. If you're ugly, people are going to have something to say. If you're pretty, people are going to have something to say. If you're skinny, people are going to have something to say. If you're fat, people are going to have something to say. No matter what, people are going to say whatever the fuck they want, so you might as well do whatever you want to make yourself happy, I swear. You are going to be so much happier when you stop living for other people and when you start living for yourself. And if people are not supportive, if people have bullshit to say, side compliments, whatever, they're not meant to be in your journey, they're not meant to be in your success story, they're not meant to be around you in general, okay? Everybody's mom got cream pie at some point. That's how we all got here. That is how we all got here. I'm sorry to break it to y'all. I know y'all ain't want to hear that, but sex is fucking natural. It's how we all got about. It's how we all came here, okay? Someone's, you know, our parents did the bump. That's what they did. They did the bump. And then now we're here. You know, like that's just how it goes. So don't be ashamed. Do whatever the fuck you want. If you want to go on OnlyFans and sell pictures of your butt cheeks, do that. If you want to go on OnlyFans and don't want to, don't even want to do sex content because you don't have to do sex content either. Do that. If you want to go on OnlyFans and show your vagina, your boobs, whatever you want to do. I, you, seriously, do whatever makes you happy. Now, I am not sitting here and telling young women and men to go on OnlyFans because that's the better option. No, that was the better option for me. And there's so many people that are millionaires because that was the better option for them. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Seriously, like you gotta, it's a mindset. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a mindset and you gotta want it. And as long as you want it, you can fucking get it. There's nothing, 
Yo, the sky is limitless. There is nothing that you cannot fucking do. Believe in yourself, loving yourself, trusting yourself. And if you're worried about what other people are thinking about you, you are never going to be your true self and you're never going to live your true life that you want to fucking live. Fuck everybody what they think. Seriously. Yo, I've been like that since I was in school. That's how I know I'm meant to do this shit. I swear, I'm meant to do this shit. And you know what? There's people that have stuff to say about it. I don't care. You're still broke and talking about me. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, that's the kind of mindset you have to have. You can't care. Who cares? You know what I'm saying? Someone's gonna say something about you. Who cares? Suck a dick. You, I got, you probably can't even do that right. Yeah, making OnlyFans, maybe you'll learn stuff. Nah, I'm just kidding. But nah, seriously, y'all. Don't give a fuck what anybody has to say about you, no matter, no matter what career choice you want to take, okay? Do what makes you happy, as long as you're not harming others. As long as you are not putting harm to others and doing things that you normally would not do for money, you know, like, you're fine. You know your truth, and that's all that matters. And anybody else that's speaking on your truth is hating on your truth, baby. And they're just reflecting it because they wish they had that much confidence to do what you're doing. You know how many women... Girls that I went to school with reached out to me asking me how did I get the confidence that I get asking me how I almost how am I how I'm almost at 5k on OnlyFans. You know how yo seriously people ask me and I tell them and the first thing that they say to me is oh well I can't I look like this like or or I'm worried about what the fuck what other people say love yourself believe in yourself that's it it's really that simple. I swear to God. No matter what your body looks like, your face, like, it does not matter, baby. You are as confident as you fucking look. Yo, tell yourself you're fucking beautiful every day even if you don't feel it, okay? Look at your body. Get naked and stare in the fucking mirror and list all the things you love about yourself. If you can't find that one thing, then you see the changes that you need to make and you want to make within yourself, which is okay. Anyway, baby, I love you. Ooh, day three of Vlogmas. I'm on a roll, bitches. Let's go. I hope you guys like today's video. Like, comment, subscribe, share. If you're hating, kiss my ass. Um, yeah. Bye, baby.